Well, it's 6 a.m. down in Manomet, and uh, still jet lagged after my trip to Europe. But I got my um, outdoor uke. Uh, I've packed it in, it in the way it would travel, and I thought I'd give a little review on how the instrument sounds and do some comparisons and contrasts. Firstly, it is a very strong instrument. Um, it uh, has this flat neck, which initially didn't sound like it would be very comfortable to play, but it really is. I'm, I'm, I'm really liking that. Um, and I got mine with the standard issue uh, uh, friction pegs. Uh, my preference is because I wanted it to truly be like the McCaffrey Islander uke, and I also thought that, you know, with metal pegs, it's no longer really outside use. So what I did do was I did change the strings on the instrument from uh, the ones that were on there, and I put on uh, Aquila's. And mine is really nice and black, and it's uh, hard to see the frets, which is great because I like the minimalistic uh, look of it. It makes it look like your fingers are flying over something, nothing. And on a black shirt, this would really be cool. And it has, um, it does have a plasticky sound to it, which is not all that bad because um, it's more reminiscent of a McCaffrey Islander uke. But the playability on this is fantastic. Uh, very nice low action. So I'm going to compare it to a De Silva SM1, which is really not a fair comparison, uh, but um, uh, this is an outdoor uke.
one thing I note about both instruments, I make the same mistakes on both. So, the plastic uke, outdoor uke, um, sounds a little bit brighter. Um, it has a little diminished volume, which makes me tend to play it a little bit harder, uh, and it gives it more of a percussive sound to it, but all in all, it's a great instrument for the price, and I'm telling you, it's really well constructed, and... Uh, uh, there's not much deflection when you press on it, so it's going to survive uh, being packaged a little bit more roughly in your backpack, say, than a uh, De Silva made out of uh, uh, koa wood. And they're identical in the scale length, the, um, uh, but the uh, um, outdoor uke is a little bit shorter uh, with the headstock and the uh, body being just a little bit uh, uh, shorter. Thanks. A note on tuning with uh, friction pegs. The way you want to do this is if you're close to the note and you're just a fraction off the note, um, it's going to sound counterintuitive, but detune the instrument maybe, or the string, uh, maybe by a whole step, and then come up onto the note. So now I want to get this to the C. You'll find if you go a little bit further away, um, uh, you break the friction at, on the friction peg, and then you can move more smoothly up into the note. Now if you surpass the note, especially on new strings, which I just did, um, uh, you can also, rather than try to reiterate that step, pull on the string, pull it away from the body, and that usually puts it right on. <laughs> 